Welcome to Lee Dickey TV. Hit subscribe to follow along with the fun. Now let's get on to today's video. Escape the Undertaker, an interactive film at Netflix starring The Undertaker and The New Day. I review the trailer next. All right, so Escape the Undertaker. It is this interactive film starring The Undertaker and The New Day. So you got uh, a couple WWE superstars, well-known WWE superstars in The Undertaker and The New Day. And it's like this interactive film. So watching the trailer, which I will link in these show notes and description and in the cards if you're watching this uh, for you all, so you can check it all out for yourselves. It's a lot like, you know, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire meets like Scooby-Doo meets the Panasonic 3DO and a bunch of other things that I can't think of off the top of my head. But it's a lot like just the Panasonic 3DO meets Who Wants to Be a Millionaire meets uh, yeah, Scooby-Doo. It all just all sort of married together. And I'm assuming since it's an interactive film that, you know, Netflix is somehow going to tell the audience how to make the choices because, like, in the trailer you see, okay, well, he could... They, they've given a, a total of four choices and the audience has to make one, I guess, for to figure out or to see how the scene plays out with, I guess, each member of the New Day and The Undertaker. And, and I think, honestly, like, it's not like it hasn't been done before. People have tried to do sort of interactive things just to take sort of entertainment and movies and TV to the next level. But... I think it's a cool concept. I'm not going to knock it. It just, sure, interactive things have been done forever, but, like, this is just something to say, I guess, you know, since the WWE, you know, skews more PG these days, this is something for the kids, and why not? Like, the New Day are three of the most well-known superstars you've got an absolute le a golden legend if you will a surefire hall of famer in the undertaker it's not like people don't know who they are if you're a wrestling fan you know who they are like these people are and you know if you're a kid say a preteen and you watch wrestling like the new day have been front and center for say the past like seven to ten years if not you know around that mark but it's cool i think it's cool it's like scooby-doo meets who wants to be a millionaire meets the panasonic 3do you know so it's kind of it's marrying all that together and trying to spit out like this interactive movie i don't have a problem with it like it's just it's not like it isn't a new concept but you know i i suppose it's just the wwe spin on an existing con uh, concept and with Netflix's help, like, why not? Like, this is just, it's a cool thing for the kids. And if, you know, say you're, you're a fan of the, the Undertaker and you're a fan from way back like myself, or if you're, you know, sort of new to watching wrestling within, say, the last seven to 10 years, and you're a fan of the New Day, same thing. Like, you're probably gonna wanna watch this. I will, you know, when it does release, like, by the time this goes up, it'll probably go up on September 29th. The movie actually releases on October 5th, so you will see this before then. But, you know, I would at least give the movie a watch, like, because I am a wrestling fan, and why not, right? Like, interactive movies, and you add wrestling on top of that, I'm in. So the trailer for Escape the Undertaker. It starts out with all the members of the New Day, Biggie, Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods, all showing up to this, like, The Undertaker's mansion out in the middle of nowhere it seems uh and sort of ringing the doorbell right and it's like a video doorbell so you see them on camera undertaker it's your buddies the new day and we want to sort of merge the power of positivity with the undertaker's urn the urn that he's known for that he's been known for for like three decades so because and in that way at least according to xavier woods they the new day would be unstoppable right so i mean he's not gonna go for it right that's what they would all say and then all of a sudden the door opens and everybody's like yeah i told you see 
And uh, there's a part, like, right at the beginning that made me chuckle. So all the members of the New Day walk in, and Big E just lets out this, Uncle Taker! And I just, it made me chuckle. Like, it got, at the very least, it got a smile on my face. Like, mentally, I'm chuckling inside, and, like, very audibly, I chuckled the first time I watched this trailer. So, it... Honestly, it made me laugh. Like, that was the one thing at the top of this trailer, Uncle Taker, that really made me laugh. Now, I can't sort of, I'm not trying to imitate Big E or anything, but it's like, you know, when you hear somebody just very audibly go, Uncle Taker, in such an exaggerated tone and, like, at the top of their lungs, like, it's just, to me, like, that'll get me to laugh every single time. So there's a scene in this trailer almost immediately where the New Day... They all walk into this room that's supposed to play the part of a morgue, and I think it's Xavier Woods that goes, who has a morgue in their house? And Big E just kind of very sort of nonchalantly goes, well, it is The Undertaker. It's very dry. Like, that delivery is very, very dry and sort of like, come on, man. It's The Undertaker, of course. Like, why wouldn't he have a morgue in his house? It's just like... Who has a morgue in their house? And all of a sudden, you get Big E was like, well, it is The Undertaker. And then you're like, oh, yeah, I like, guess a fan, you're like, of course. It's The Undertaker. Why not? What else are you going to throw at us? So they're in this room that's supposed to, I guess, double as a morgue or it's supposed to play the part of a morgue. And there's these choices that come up on the screen. So the audience has to make a choice. And it, it has to do with fog. So, like, the New Day are facing a cloud of fog. And, you know, the choice that's chosen in this trailer is walk into the fog. Big E's just like, if it's the Undertaker's fog, I ain't touching it. Xavier just goes, you know what? Ah, it's, it's fine. No big deal. Turns around. Guys, it's fine. It's fine. No, no problem. And the Undertaker appears out of nowhere. And suddenly it's just like, ah! Everybody starts screaming. And then it just morphs into, like, this... A highlight of this film because that's what a trailer is obviously uh, so you see Kofi Kingston running from something and he's in this room trying to figure out a puzzle he's strapped into a chair uh, Big E is strapped into a chair he's got a box on his head it's filled with spiders and the Undertaker just goes you have to make a choice all you have to do is join me and you just see Big E struggling but it's just honestly I think it's a cool concept sure it's not like interactive things like this haven't been done before and it's not like they're not going to be made after this. But, you know, it's it's a way to, you know, WWE get them on the Netflix platform again and give them, you know, sort of more of the Netflix audience, if you will. And it's just something, for me anyway, like, you're either going to rope in ca the casual fan or longtime fans like myself. Or you're just you're gonna rope in the kids because they skew more PG now, and that's what they're shooting for. So why not? Like I actually really enjoyed this. It's a new thing for the Undertaker because I don't think he's done much acting roles outside of like his in-ring work. And of course you've got like the New Day, and of course like WWE and movies like they have their own film studio, right? And I think Warner Media has the rights to their the distribution rights to their video library again like like i said wwe has had their own film studio for like 20 almost 20 years and it's not like they're a stranger to making movies like yes they're sort of direct to dvd video on demand action films they've done animated things with say the warner properties like uh they've done a handful of scooby-doo films i think they did the sequel to surf's up as well and just other projects right like they're they have 12 rounds the marine you know and things like that they've just done movie after movie after movie just constantly you're pumping them out year after year after year so it's not like they're a stranger to putting out movies featuring their superstars because they always do that they've done that for almost 20 years because as i said They've had their film studio uh, for almost two decades. This Escape the Undertaker movie expands on WWE's relationship with Netflix. It gives them an avenue to reach their fans and bring in new fans if, you know, that's what they're shooting for. But I, it's not like interactive movies like this and interactive, you know, pieces of software or whatever. Interactive pieces of entertainment like this 
they've existed forever so it's not like this is a new concept but it's just another avenue for WWE and I like it I like the fact that they're going down this route and will I watch Escape the Undertaker probably yeah will I partake in my own version of the movie probably like if I'm hooked enough then yeah, I will watch it, I will participate, and I will want to see how this plays out. Like, the trailer, there were points in it that made me chuckle, but there were points in it, like I said, that reminded me of, like, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire meets Scooby-Doo meets the Panasonic 3DO. So, I don't know whether it's the nostalgic vibes in me, or perhaps a little bit of this cynic in me, I don't know, maybe. But, it's just, I'm looking forward to watching this and I sort of participating or like seeing how this interactive version of the trailer or interactive version of the movie is like how what this is like so I will at least watch it for a little bit and see if I like it completely enough to watch it and basically make choices all the way through I'm assuming it's like I don't know 90 minutes or so or like it's a standard length movie i can't be sure but from what i've seen in the trailer like it's an avenue for w it's a, just an avenue for wwe to reach their fan base and bring in new fans and reach the fans that they do have right it's not like interactive things like this haven't been done before but it's just it's a way for them to reach their fan base it expands on their relationship with netflix why not go down that route it's perfect for them and I, I like this, okay? So I, I'm not going to knock it. So there it is. There you have it. My review of Escape the Undertaker, this interactive film between WWE and Netflix. It is set to debut on October 5th. I will link the trailer in the show notes, description, and in the cards for you all, for you all to enjoy for yourselves. Please do comment, like, Share and subscribe right here to Lee Dickey TV, the YouTube channel. You can find the audio version of this podcast on both the Beast and Speaks podcast and Pinfall, a pro wrestling podcast. You can, you can subscribe to all my podcasts, of course, the Beast and Speaks podcast, Yo Nostalgia, and Pinfall, a pro wrestling podcast on your favorite podcast app and player of choice. Leave us five star ratings and reviews too, if you would, please and thank you. Relevant links to everything I mentioned listed and linked in the description. Thank you all again for watching. My name is Lee Dickey, and for Lee Dickey TV, I am signing off. Please do remember to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Please do take care, and we will talk to you later. All right, Lee Dickey signing off. Peace. Thanks for tuning in to Lee Dickey TV. New episodes are available every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Subscribe to follow along with the fun.